minute, sponsored by Avera. Diabetes is a disease that affects a body's ability to handle sugar in food, but did you know there is such a thing as pre-diabetes that can lead to even more complications? Sam Wright spoke with an Avera Family Medicine physician about identifying and preventing both. Dr. Turi, is there a noticeable difference when we're talking about pre-diabetes and diabetes himself? Yeah, I mean, there's certainly a noticeable difference in regards to clinical outcomes. I mean, one of the biggest risk factors for um, cardiovascular disease in particular is going to be diabetes. And so diabetes is, is more of a spectrum um, starting at pre-diabetes all the way up to people that have you know, what we would characterize as uh, severe diabetes or long-standing diabetes um, that is in particularly you know, uncontrolled or insulin-dependent diabetes. And, and so as the longer people have diabetes, the higher their A1Cs are, the, the less well-controlled it is it certainly impacts things as far as health outcomes. What are the most common risk factors when developing uh, prediabetes? So um, it, it's gonna be kind of what we think about as far as um, uh, metabolic syndrome. So going back to uh, weight uh, in particular, so people at, at uh, higher weights or obesity are gonna be at higher risk for prediabetes. Uh, people that are more sedentary um, don't participate in any type of uh, activities um, on a regular basis. And then certainly diet uh, is going to be a big part of it as well, too. Um, diet can be a big part regardless of uh, sometimes weight and activity level if, if, if the diet is really out of control in regards to uh, what, what I call easy carbohydrates in particular. What, what we generally see when it comes to prediabetes is people kind of um, go along gradually um, in, regard, in regards to their progression to diabetes. But there seems to be a tipping point, and at some point, uh, that insulin resistance really takes off. So I tell people it's kind of like a hockey stick effect. You, you kind of gradually worsen as far as insulin resistance, and then you get to a point where it, it just doesn't, your body can't keep up anymore with the insulin resistance, and your A1C um, diabetes starts to form and take control, and, and things kind of start to go out of control then. Well, Dr. Trey, thank you again for taking some time to speak with us. I really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. For more information on diabetes and preventing it, visit avera.org slash medical minute. Phil has first alert weather when we come back.